Hello guys, and welcome to episode 81 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough. Playing as Ark and the Black, leading the Tomb Kings to world domination. Today, we're probably going to be taking out Eagle Gate to begin with, with Thutep. So let's get on with that. But we have been doing a good job of cleaning up a lot of settlements lately, so I don't really think we've got long left in this campaign. Uh, let's lightning strike and jump on in. We don't really have much way of taking down towers, so we're probably just going to have to like aggressively push onto the walls, which is going to be a little bit scary because they do have some very good infantry. Like I'd rather they have Blackguard and Nagron though than Harganeth Executioners because the Harganeth Executioners have like crazy armor piercing and can break down Tomb Guard very fast. But yeah, what we're going to want to do is grab all these lot and have them charge the gate. I can keep this guy kind of in the center, just do some damage, and uh, we'll have to keep these guys safe. All right, Lee's need to focus on like the Black Guard and Nagaron. That'll do. Kill as much infantry as I can with the casket. All right, let's now get the mage to run forwards. I just didn't want him to be the first person to get shot, like we had happen in the last episode. Honestly, this blob should be fine. We do have a Tomb Swarm as well, which we can use once we get through. Oh, he's still getting attacked. Of course he is. <laughs> Just dodge him forwards. Okay, good. It's quite a lot of missile fire coming in there. I mean, that's also the tower hitting us pretty hard. Uh, these guys might as well just stand there and start trying to shoot, but I don't think they're going to be too effective. Alright, let's, uh, let's charge on in. Double that up really well. The tomb swarm coming through the gate there. That's so awesome. Well, let's not make sure that doesn't get shot by the tower because it will die. Oh, we do actually, we did actually already activate first round of cells there. I don't know why they're not putting up the ladders. Like They should have put the ladders up already. They're just standing there getting shot for free. That was really dumb. Oh, God damn, we are annihilating these boys. I need that to come over here to the witch house. That'd be good. Oh, they just got murderous prowess. Bad timing. Again, these guys just aren't putting up ladders. Get off the wall, Hydra, please. And regroup. I want to use the reanimate. Did the Hydra die? Yeah, I did. I died very quickly. Uh, as soon as I like told them all to target, it just got absolutely smacked. Very, very fast indeed. But thankfully, they don't really have too much of that strong infantry on the walls, so my team guard are going to be able to deal with Dark Shards, I think. Although, whilst they have Murderous Prowess, they do actually do a lot of damage. 
like even like in melee. I uh, dropped down some heals on any low health Cameron more Sphinxes. I should have used this helmet discord while we were engaging them all by the gate. It's pretty much over now. Killing off these witch charles. We've got the new tomb. Another tomb swarm if we need it. Didn't even mean to put it on them, but that will kill them off. Which is actually that's gonna kill off a lot of those. Alright, I think that's victory. <laughs> a lot of the damage by the gate there. I only recently used my reanimate so we'll just end it. It's gonna be that gate taken. So is that all of the gates under our control now? I think it might be. That'd be really good. Gives us good control over Ulth 1. Okay, Eagle Gate, and we get it at level 3 as well. Uh, oh no, we still need to take Unicorn Gate. Nearly there. Uh, did I lose a unit? I guess I lost some Tomb Guard? It might be a good idea to have some, like, a Shab to a Great Bow in this army. Could probably dump these as well. For a Shab to a Great Bow. That will help me take down towers and stuff. My dynasty reigns supreme. Let's level these boys up. Uh, we will grab Blade Master for him. And for this one, we'll do full play armor. Uh, King Alcazar can just keep coming down the coast. Ropraphas is going to take the Pillars of Unseen Constellation, although he's still a little ways off. Uh, we have a Nectambo that can take Iron Frost. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and put the public order in here ASAP. And we'll put in the Worship of Petra so he can march out of there next turn. Alright, over to Hetakor. So, Hetakor. I could use him to take Whitefire Tor this turn. Or we could use him to take out Vinny Sulman this turn. If we use Hetakor to take Whitefire Tor, I think that would save a turn. So, I'm going to do that. Because we can have Thutap take out Vinny Suleiman. And it means that we don't have to waste an extra turn going back on ourselves. We can take that now and then both of those can move south to take the Galleon's Graveyard. Meanwhile we'll just have Arkan finish off for this lot. Okay. Over to King Minkia. So Minkia is going to head towards Laxlan. Uh, Taklan is actually under siege. So maybe we go to the Temple of Kara instead and come round. 
Because going across here is going to give us attrition and it does take a while. I think we go around and we take the Temple of Kala in the meantime. I'm actually going to march. So that we are able to attack that next turn. Uh, Hatmas is probably going to want to chase down this boy. Kill him off. And from there, he'll probably... Uh, he probably came from Chakwa, so we're probably going to want to chase him up there. Okay, Ropafas uh, needs to get back into whoever's army he was left out of. I think it was Setups, wasn't it? So now he's going to take <laughs> a long time to catch up and probably going to forget to put him in the army a hundred times, as is normal. Right, let's uh, put the Wesh of Petra there and we'll put the Wesh of Petra here as well. Uh, what was the one that I turned the... It was somewhere where I turned off tax. Looks like it's going to have to stay that way for the time being. Uh, this is still really bad on public order. We need to demolish these. And put in the public order buildings. I could put that to worship of Vasa for now. Just to make sure that doesn't rebel. Um, here we're going to put that. And I'll remove that. And we'll change that up. Okay, uh, Escape of Blight's fine. Help it. Hates me. Uh, we could maybe take out the taxidermist tomb. I don't know. I, I'm going to assume we have exotic animals elsewhere. If we don't, that would be quite surprising. Guess we can always check. We can always rebuild it if we need to. Well then, can level up, we'll do that. Oh, that's a level 5 settlement as well. Cool. Um, we'll continue to check out these uh, low public order provinces, actually, because that's pretty important that we don't let anything rebel, because it would be a pain in my ass. Uh, let's just remove that and get some public order in there. Uh, definitely just build up the public order buildings here. One more fix. Uh, the Star Tower. Could just put the public order building in here for now, honestly. Uh, Bissening's camp, we can definitely push public order here. And the Awakening, I might just pop a public order building in there for now. And at Strakov, we can do that as well. I got Wastelands, definitely just upgrade those. Looks like public order for the most part is fine now, honestly. Uh, do I need that? This is fine. Alright, and then the rest are positive public order. I kind of wish you could sort it by growth. That would be really nice. Uh, like or tier, like level of settlement. That would actually be really, really useful now I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Anyway, I don't think we need to waste too much time doing more buildings. I am just going to briefly double check recently conquered settlements. Make sure these walls are upgraded. Okay. Back Mountain's actually level 5. <laughs> I love the way I say I'm not going to do it and then I just like instinctively click the settlement upgrade button. Okay. That'll do. We're up to 1,000 Kenobi Jars again. Let's move on to the next turn. He's got the Ambusher trait, which is another 5% Ambush success chance. That's just from spending multiple turns in Ambush stance. 
Interesting. I was really hoping they would come towards us there, but they didn't. They moved out of Van Zandville. They probably went to Hag Hall to defend from the army they could actually see. Is the Awakening going to do anything? Nope. Dreadfleet's coming right up to Whitefire Tor. Alright, well, I guess we're going to attack them this turn. Really? <laughs> okay, whatever. You had your fun, now you're dead. There's no way they get away from that army. Hmm, since there's a Zeti coming out of nowhere. There is that little Skaven force there. But I'm going to assume that those, like... Those armies are, in fact... Or, sorry, those settlements over here... Uh, near Hexoatl... Are, in fact, Skaven, yeah. Because we did just see the Skaven around there. Recruit one hero, and we get artillery focus. <laughs> Great. Oh, they really... Masked up in Unicorn Gate, huh? That's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, kill these guys. Uh, okay. Yep, we'll do that. It's fine. And I'm going to do this. Thank you. And then from there, we're going to want to take out Unicorn Gate next turn. Alright, Rawa is going to take Shrockback Mount. Thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and throw in an Obelisk there. They really don't have much. Really quite disappointing. Take this. Thank you very much. And can we attack La or Hag Hall? Land of the dead. Destroy all. I think we can. Yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lightning strike. We'll just jump on in. The thing is about this army is it can be quite weak. Especially if it gets hit by like strong AoE magic. We can still kind of use our Ashabti though. If I take out the tower on the far left, then we can get into a position to shoot into the settlement at least. Or at least shoot up the units on the left hand wall. So we will do the same as usual in, in that we're going to spawn over here. First things first, we're going to destroy this tower, and then we'll just start shooting up these guys on the walls, even if it is Skaven Slave Slingers. I could, in fact, have these guys start doing that now, or have one move out to the side. Yeah, I'm going to get these guys to do it, like the Chosen of the Gods, because they have, like, the shotgun ammunition. Well, that's the tower gone. <laughs> Alright, let's move these back. Probably want to move these more to like the side over here. Damn, those clan rats are going to get annihilated. Okay, uh, we will just like target... Well, I'm going to target those storm vermin. Actually, that's a good target. The Plague Priest, we can kill him. For sure. That's 
some good damage. Uh, let's put these on guard. They don't run forwards when they can't see anything. Uh, we'll target those guys instead. I can actually kill this Warlock Master. That's a really good target as well. Who's chosen the guns doing a lot of damage? I'd love to do like a boom swarm, but we'll save it. <laughs> the gates are open. All right, let's start moving these guys up anyway. If I can take out the warlock master and the plague priest, get rid of a lot of that magic. She really good. Really good. I do want to kill those off if I can. The warp lightning would suck. <laughs> so we want to get rid of the warlock engineer at least. I don't think the plague spells really help them that much. I'm going to have my lord go in. They're all going to pile on around him. We'll hit a nice old tomb swarm. If there's any left after that, we'll put down some more magic. Well, I might as well put the magic now, honestly. There's the warp lightning I was talking about. Oh, they have another one. That would be why. Let's see if we can hit him. We might be able to get some line of sight on him, but it's going to be pretty difficult. I might have to take down this. Warp lightning will do a lot of damage to a shab team. I mean, those artillery pieces will as well. But I might actually be able to take out the artillery pieces. So, I mm, guess it depends. I'd have to break down the gate, I think. Do that. Try and keep them all healthy. comes a lightning strike. Uh, didn't do as much damage as I thought it would, actually. Doing well in our way, though. Gonna spirit leech that. Ooh, he's on the ground. Kill him. Let's just break down this gate. These guys can kill the Warlock Engineer. Very okay, good. Uh, these are kind of running out of ammunition, but we're going to run through, start trying to shoot their artillery. Let's get my lord back here. Forward. 
Uh, we'll just go around the side. I'm gonna want to heal all of these. Legions forward! Onward, legions! Bring my chariot! Gonna want to kill off this. Take out the assassin. I might have my tomb prince just run down the escape and save slingers though. Because he's in a chariot. Also might as well have my My priest move out to the side. Let's just kill that doom well. Killing a doom well there with these guys is actually really good. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna fate a Buna. These. It's a pretty big counter, actually, to my units. Get my Team King to come back and help out with the Assassin. He's point blanks with the Ashabti. I'm so overkill sending one of those over there. Uh, let's just have like one kill those. I can definitely just put this down here, honestly. I should just finish the battle. We get some more magic over here. Uh, we'll spirit leech the tomb wheel actually. Do that. I can still shoot this tomb wheel as well. Tomb King, move! My orders enacted. Taking him a while to die. Job done. These guys survived really well. You can see that a lot of them got quite low on health, but didn't fully die. So, like, when we end the battle, as you can see, we get all our health back. It's crazy. Those are Shabti, like, super, super strong. <laughs> they really are. Like, in the right situation, especially against infantry armies like Skaven, so good. Alright. Uh, we didn't really kill the lords, unfortunately. It's fine. That's weird how it didn't ask me to, like, if I wanted to occupy occupy and raise and, or, you know, or occupy Zack or raise or whatever. It's strange. Um, okay. I think we just wipe out this guy and move south. Uh, this guy went up here somewhere. Yeah, he tried to run away from us. He is a goner. I uh, will take the movement range, thank you very much. And we get movement range from that, so that's fantastic. Can we get... Uh, we can't really get into... To a Latol. It sucks. I wanted to do some replenishment. Oh, I didn't take the Golden Colossus. I'm an idiot. He went up too soon. Alright, well, we'll take this. I might have to have Hatmas just come around here quick. That's really annoying. Because otherwise there's going to be no other armies to do it. This guy's going to take the Temple of Kara. Okay. 
Okay. I might swap out some of these Tomb Guard for Tomb Guard with Halberds. I'm looking at this army. Although saying that, I don't know. I feel like the it's too hot. Let's just switch out one of them. I do lose a few unit ranks on that, but having like more balance towards large units, I think, is important when we're dealing with the uh, what you call them, the awakened. Like Vampire Coast, they can have some pretty scary units. Although these armies being kind of trash, but I think that's just because the Dreadfleet only have one settlement. These guys doing no digging pay, for treasure. No yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, maybe this guy wants to take the Unicorn Gate. I mean, we could have... Utep can't take the Unicorn Gate. Hetakor technically could take the Unicorn Gate. I'm still convinced that we need to attack this army and head south. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring Thutep over and declare war on these boys. He's going to do a runner. That's fine. I'm going to move this guy up. And we're going to initiate attack with this guy. Order is all. Take the movement range. And off we go. Alright. Over to Setup. So, Setup is in range to take Satildra Tor. I think what I'm going to do with this guy is head him up to the Ancient City. There is an army building up there, so I probably want to go and take that out first. Also... Yeah, there is like the dragon hatchery and stuff, so we're going to want to definitely take that sooner or later. Uh, can I go into like my land to avoid... Mm, I can't. It's fine. There's not a decent garrison there, so that's okay. I will just upgrade Assault Garrison and have him do that maybe, if I remember, before we attack. Uh, Wakaf might be better off taking like the Shrine of Sotek and the Maku Peaks before heading over to the Monument of the Moon. Although Monument of the Moon is making an army, so I should probably head there first. Uh, we're going to march. I don't know if that's going to allow me to attack that in one turn next turn, but we will see. We got this boy zooming down. Nectane Bow is now zooming down as well. His Lich Priest is leveled up. All his spells are maxed out. Everything else is done. So I guess we just do Specialist. This guy is very low level, isn't he? Grab Baronis Time Warp. And Thutma Munzu. Hmm. Was it down here that that army went? I can't even remember. It's over there. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you for the movement range. We'll zoom back to Kragoth Deep. Well, do I need to? Like, Rawa's going to take Red Desert. I could have Nectambo just take Kragoth Deep as he goes past. Um, therefore, we can just move that with Munzu down. Alright. Ropraphas. He's to uh, catch up to this army. And Zephyrfat can continue down. A command available. Go ahead and grab some movement range. That up. Upgrade this. Oh, Castle Drakenhof, finally, level 5. Oh. Max out that building. Max out that building as well. 
Oh, and we got Koron level 5. Cool. Yeah, we're starting to get some of these settlements up to level 5 now. We do actually have a level 5 settlement base free here. Okay, another level 5. The Jalika Oasis, how, how come it took that long? It was like one of the ones I took quite early on. Eh, I guess not. We, like they, they were owned by, what was it, the Blue Vipers or whatever? I can't remember who was down there. No, the Blue Vipers are over here normally. Um, whoever it was, some Orc tribe that we kept alive for a little too long. Anyway... I think we just end the turn here. Anyone else I need to move? Let's just double check. Don't think I have anybody in ambush stance. No. Alright, let's move on. So you might be wondering like why I choose to go in the direction I do normally. Especially when it comes to like moving towards the Monument of Moon here. And that's because like obviously the army is inside. Now the reason you want to always go to the settlement that they are building an army in is not only to stop them building the army in the first place, uh, but also to stop them from taking settlements behind you. Uh, so if I were to go to the other settlements that they owned and just left the army build, what they'd eventually do with that army is just go somewhere completely random uh, where you're quite weak and attack, kind of like this army is doing right now. Well, technically, I might be able to auto resolve this and it win. Yeah, that's fine. Like, I don't really mind. I'm not going to play that out regardless. It just takes too much time. Like, I could probably try and win that, but I'd much rather them just kill themselves by constantly attacking different settlements. Alright, we can definitely attack Unicorn Gate. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we will use Lightning Strike. And we will jump on in. There is the Garrison Force. And there's also the... Main Force here. They're pretty weak overall, I think. Arkans super OP. So we should be fine. Like this, casket can do so much damage if I hit the right targets. And there's going to be a lot of units here. So we're going to... It's going to be hard to miss, let's put it that way. <laughs> I'll put these in a group. Might have to have them take down that tower so I can use them properly. I'll have Arkan just move forwards. I think all of these units are okay though. I think this is the only one that's like not. So I'll try and keep it safe somehow. I don't know if it can fire from amongst the Necropolis Knights, but I just don't want it to get jumped on by one of the Menace Belows. I will start the deployment, start the battle. And yeah, I'm going to run these up and we're going to take down that tower. We're going to get Arkham close, I think. Actually, I don't think I can spawn these over a wall, but you can certainly put in some spells. He has a lot of Winter Magic Power Reserve. Ouch. Do you mind? This tower is really hurt. Oh, right in the middle of the hex race. No, that's not the best place for him. Alright. Uh, we will move these back over here. Because I can probably kill off the Death Globe bombardiers on the wall. There's probably other stuff on the wall next to them, actually. Like the hidden units.
Uh, but let's just drop this over here. Uh, let's just do it on some of these clan rats. Hopefully it just goes through them. I don't know if the ability, minus 30 ability recharge in seconds is for these abilities or these abilities. I think it's these abilities. I don't know if I need to click that first though. I suppose it is on guard. Again, I don't want them to run forwards unnecessarily. Uh, we'll just hit the ones next to them as well. We are hitting the gate, which is good. Uh, we'll hit these gutter runners with poison. Let's kill as many as we can. I don't know if there's better targets though for the Shabtu Great Bow. I don't think there's actually many like large units. So it's just a lot of small units. Oh, some rat ogres. They don't really count. Don't have anything really to climb the walls other than Arkan. I might just have Arkan climb the wall. Yeah, let's just do that. Like Arkan should be able to do quite a lot of damage on his own. Uh, let's hit the storm vermin with halberds. Because if I can get them on the walls, then I can just spawn skeletons inside. We pretty much solo the settlement. I guess they've only got to be careful of the enemy lords. Yeah, like this assassin right in front of them. Although we do have pretty strong melee attack power. Uh, does my Necrotect have... I think my Necrotect can climb up as well. Oh, look at that damage though. Alright, we will drop another spell in here. gonna probably stop this firing for a second. Uh, I could probably get them to start firing on the wall actually. Let's try and kill off this assassin again. I'm just having this go like so would not be too bad. These are just game enslavers, but if I can just like ruin some of these, that'd be good. <laughs> I actually decimated that unit. Arkans just chilling. I uh, might have my big boys come to the gate. And join us. And my neck protector has got up on the walls now, so providing some bonuses there. I don't know if my cavalry is really that useful here, but I guess we'll see. Get those plague monks and sparrows quite nicely with the casket. Ooh, beautiful shot there. That's the uh, the giant. I could honestly attack some of these. Uh, 
tremble before our king. I, I smell failure. Alright, perfect. Make them all clump up. Drop some dank magic on these boys. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. It's like solo clearing these walls. Nice one, Arkin. Oh, there's Tretch. I wonder if we killed Tretch. If I actually come off the wall, uh, then we can probably test that. God, these Hyra Titans are so slow. <laughs> we start chunking poor Tretch there. Could be worth putting that in there. Oh, these skeleton warriors are actually contributing to the Realm of Souls tier. Which is nice because we don't really have any other way of actually making that happen. Not sure what units they were, but they didn't exist much anymore. <laughs> okay, that is reducing the arcane conduit timer. I haven't really had to use the Liber Mortis yet. I'm going to try and get these inside. The higher attack can come in. Okay, that's fine. Good start to bring him a cavalry. And he killed Tretch. I'm just going to use the uh, liver mortars there for the Gemrin War Sphinx. Okay, let's run these inside. gonna target their range forces with these. And those skeleton warriors in there to hold them down. Killing them quite well with the uh, Ashabtu great bows that are chewing up the warp fire throwers. It's really good. Uh, yep, these ones can keep firing in there as well. I, no I really need to like select these in the group and go with those. Uh, we'll have these in the meantime move to the right and take out the Death Glow Bombardiers. Shabti, we can have them say hello over here. I probably should have popped them on top of the rattling guns, that would have been best bet. I might still be able to 
use them. One of those hex rays, I don't know why they took so much damage. Cetra shall pay. Ready. Legion forward. Oh, it might just be the uh, the catapults, honestly. We'll just keep these spread out. I'm gonna have a couple of them go that way. These can all go this way. Now those catapults are pretty deadly. Just gotta do enough damage and make them all run away. There we go. Beautiful. Seven hundred and thirty one kills for Arkan. That's quite a lot. <laughs> Got some uh, good spells in there. Definitely think if if I had if I wanted to like waste time, we could have just done the whole thing with Arkan on his own. <laughs> But uh, yeah, like all things done in a reasonable amount of time, and he gets extra speed, which is nice for him because he's pretty slow. All right. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. Uh, next time around, uh, I guess we just continue the expansion. We'll hit the ancient to the Akintex. We'll take out the Monument of the Moon. Uh, we're probably gonna head down to Tlaxland maybe to see what's going on down here if it's just been like sieged I guess it's been sieged by uh, the awakened uh, but it could be worth me just coming along to the Temple of Lincoln first and then heading down from there to Zahotek and just taking all the settlements off of the awakened before we actually attack them so that they have attrition and then it depends what their army's like we're definitely going to have to take this settlement down here, the Golden Colossus. Kind of annoying that I forgot to take that. Uh, but this army is moving up nice and quick from Rob Profas. And once we free up him, he can probably come over here as well to help clean this up. Alright, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.